Hey guys, James with TFB TV. Now, if you had told me at SHOT Show last year that I'd be here interviewing Dave at a high point, <laughs> I would have said bullshit. But here I am, and for those of you who are familiar with the channel, you saw the recent high point review where, you know, I said, look, I don't like high points. And then I ran it, it turns out it was a 15 year old high point. I ran that thing into the ground with wolf ammo, not clean, not lubricated. I threw it into a creek and it functioned perfectly. So, yeah, I made myself look like the jerk that I am. <laughs> Dave showed me up. And, and the funny thing is, people ask, I, I promised I was going to blow the gun up. And people ask, so Dave, I owe you an apology. They say, what happened when you blew the gun up? Nothing happened. I, I, I put uh, a squib load and three times the amount of tight group uh, that you could put into a 380 casing, shot it through, nothing happened. It was the most boring video of all time, so we couldn't run it on the channel. So yeah, uh, yeah. Dave, I wanted to tell you that and, and tell everybody at TFB TV, all the viewers that. So here I am at High Point, I said, Dave, whatever you want to talk about, I feel so bad, whatever you want to talk about, have at it. Awesome, I appreciate it, man. No, no thank you, Dave, thanks for having us. So what do we got? Well, I mean, to start off playing with it, since you had a 15-year-old 380, thought we'd go with a 380 carbine. Perfect. Um, the same size as our 995 carbine we've had for, you know, since 95, been long running. 380 carbine, you know, it just kind of fits into a little niche package where you've got guys that only have 380 pistols, they need something else or want something else, you know, beyond that pocket pistol, you get a full-size rifle. It's easy to handle. You know, a smaller woman can hold it. You know, guys can handle it. It recalls like a 22, and it's really accurate even with the 380 cartridge. You throw in some good, you know, horny defense ammo, and you've got a pretty sweet setup right there. It takes the same mags as a pistol, I assume, right? Actually, no. In most cases, it does, but the 3 d carbine does use its own proprietary mag from the pistols. Okay. So they don't work back and forth. That's about your only real downside okay. to it. Okay. And uh, when is this going to be available? Oh, it's available MSRP? now. Oh. It's available now. It's been out for uh, about two years now, and our MSRP is under 300 bucks. And you said you had something else to show me over here, right? Yeah, that would be this guy here, which is the 995 TS. Uh, this is our new package deal this year. So you get the forward grip and two 20-round Red Ball magazines. We've had a lot of requests from guys. They complain about 10 rounds not being enough. You know, being a single-stack carbine, it's a little more difficult to do that. But Red Ball come through with 20 rounds. So two magazines, a forward grip, you know, 50 rounds out of the box. What more do you need? And so I think I already know the answer to my question, but <laughs> in these mags, the Red Ball mags, reliable, 100%. Absolutely, absolutely reliable. And then MSRP release date on this guy? This guy's out now as well. Uh, and our MSRP, I think it's still around 300 bucks. Well, Dave, I want to say thank you again. You guys are so excessively chill. Uh, you know, we and, have to be, you know. Uh, and so now I was proven wrong, and I'm glad that I could finally meet Dave in the flesh, and we could do this bit for TFB TV. Dave, thank you so much. Thanks, James.